Okay, so it did have an old Hitachi controller there. I've already taken it off and we're going to be putting a tablet on the wall. I've got to have a chat with the customer and see where he wants it. Return air up there, which is 900 by 400. Vent. In each room. And so how a ducted works for, for us is this is day one. I'm here, decommissioned the outdoor unit, just like getting stuff up here, dismantled the indoor unit, ready for tomorrow. I'm just getting ready for tomorrow. There's gonna be a bar grill up there. Um, yep. This is like, you know, a little bit of a reno. I put a unit split system downstairs. So, this used to have a Hitachi system that did upstairs and downstairs. Downstairs now I've just got a big splitty or duckless mini split, whatever you want to call it, um, that does downstairs. So this ducted is just going to do upstairs. Um, that way we don't need to run droppers down and we'll have good airflow everywhere. So, yeah, good. got rid of the controller and I've got rid of the zone switches they've been deleted they're getting patched and now it's all run off the tablet an airbox unit unit is there two acoustic ducks straight onto the box straight on That's good airflow. Um, it's the unit there. One duct goes across. Um, just hard to film. 
to a like a exact air regulator that's hung up and the ducks go spider out from that and another duck goes out the other way this is the same thing the black exact air regulator strapped up and then the ducks just spider along so i pull the ducks as tight as i possibly can So the shortest duct run possible, all strapped up. And I really want the return air to have no restrictions. And I want the return air box and the supply box and all that silver taped, sealed, and return air. Um, filter media changed over to electrostatic. Oh,
Alright, that's ready to turn on now. So, basically, the old one was just sitting on the ground. There's not much room here. Anyway, the old one was sitting on the ground. This one I've decided to put on brackets for no other reason but just to make it so it doesn't rust out basically. Um, put the louvers on so it goes, directs all the hot air up. But even without that, according to this, it fully complies anyway. Like there's enough room there, enough room on that side. There's more than enough room on the back. So they say you need 100 or more. I've actually got 160. And there, it's like 300 mil. It's 300 mil. And out the front, they reckon you need a meter. And we've got more than that, so. Plus with that on. So, we're good. I reuse the existing trunking, but everything else is new. So, the old one didn't have that isolator on it. I'll just put that on. Um, but to be honest, the electrician still needs to come and change the, um, the breaker. Put a 25 amp in. So, I think he's coming tomorrow. But anyway, so. go let's go turn it on okay so just to recap new outlet and replace the outlets in all the bedrooms so they all had yellow like circular outlets that went all yellow so I put fresh ones in put sensors in each of the bedrooms so they didn't have that before that's where the original return air grill was. I've replaced it and put an electrostatic filter media in. Um, that's where the old controls were. Um, obviously, that's getting patched up. Um, the owner of this house is actually a builder that I do a lot of work with, so he's going to do that. And then in this section. It's going to be an outlet there. It's going to be a bar grill up there. So this is going to be like the new master bed. And there's a robe here. And then you walk through and there's a ensuite. And basically up here there's going to be I'm putting in a bar grill for the um, shower vent, but I'm also putting in aircon in the ensuite. So it's to be honest, it's more to do with just making that the ensuite has got positive pressure in it. So then, the like personally, I just find that if you have an exhaust fan in there doesn't overly do too much if the doors are closed. If you open the doors, then the exhaust, um, like ventilation fan and bathrooms work way better. But um, if you just positively pressurize the room, then you don't have to do that. And it just gets rid of all the steams outside, literally outside so much quicker. Anyway, so there's gonna be aircon in the ensuite. And that bar grill and also there there will be sensors on the wall here but obviously I'm gonna wait it's a massive area so the old aircon used to do the downstairs as well the new one does not we decided to scrap the downstairs section and just put a Dakin split system downstairs which we've already done and it works awesome Obviously I'm going to rename these ones, but I don't know what it's going to be called. Anyway, so... So 
temperature in the rooms already. And that's what I've got to set to. That's fully ramped up now. That's gone through the test mode. And honestly, that is like roaring at the top. Like hardly anything there. Get smashed. That hot air is just going. Even though that complies with the Dakin spec, I don't like it going bang. Trying to get it out. Should give Actron a go. There's one's a the top discharge, which is epic. It is so massive. What's everyone's thoughts on that actually? Like installing it pretty much every house you go to, the fence is right in front of where the aircon is. It makes you wonder why they make it front discharge. It's pretty stupid, really. Anyway, so you might remember this video I did. That's the split for downstairs. Up across. Uh, that electrical isn't mine. That's the electrician. The other conduit on top is. Anyway. Now we've got two Dakins. Let's replace the one Hitachi.